It's over in one corner of the driveway, but it's a very, it's a very messy corner. It's very ugly. The van that uh, he shot is us all shot up. Yeah, it's, it's an ugly scene. A 21 year old is charged with the murder of his teenage sisters and the attempted murder of another 17 year old boy. Good evening, everybody. A family is simply in shock tonight after one of them is arrested and two are dead. The two dead teens, Sarah and Elizabeth Hayden, were allegedly murdered by their 21 year old brother, Matthew, in Coleraine Township. 17 year old Josh Hacker, who was also shot, is fighting for his life at the hospital. Local 12's Rich Jaffe has been on the story all day. He joins us now from the Justice Center where Hayden's being held. Rich. Cammie, about 2.30 this morning, authorities tell me that Matthew Hayden walked out of the family home on Banning Road and opened fire on a blue minivan with a 9mm handgun. Inside that minivan, his two sisters, also 17-year-old Josh Hacker. Authorities tell me that when Hayden had emptied that 15-round magazine in his 9mm Beretta, he simply dropped that magazine, calmly reloaded the gun, and continued firing. The bullet-riddled van was towed away from the house by police. Nearly two dozen 9mm rounds had shattered the rear windows. According to police and his own family members, the shooter is 21-year-old Matthew Hayden. Moments after shooting his sisters, Sarah and Elizabeth, and wounding their friend Josh Hacker, all of whom had been sitting in the van, Hayden's frantic mother called 911. Oh my God, my son shot him! Your son shot them. Who's your son? My son is Matthew Hayden. Where is he at right now? He's outside. He's outside. Okay, is he still have the weapon? I, yes, please don't hurt him. He's went crazy or something. I don't Where know is he at right now? Him. Where is he at right know. now? My husband's out there trying to get him. Coleraine Township Police say there were frequently teens who were not family members living at the Banning Road home. The family is known as quiet and not particularly social in the neighborhood. Teens from the house would frequently cut through Robert Strack's backyard, which backs up to the murder scene. He said he heard a couple of gunshots last night, but didn't pay much attention. So prior to this, with the exception of not really knowing these guys particularly, there were no significant issues with these neighbors? No. They kept to themselves and that was it. Moments after the murderous assault on the van and Angela Hayden's 911 call, police arrived on the scene and they were somewhat surprised by what they found. Uh, according to uh, the sergeant, uh, they came, they secured the scene, and they were about ready to approach the house when he came walking out uh, very casually and kind of announced uh, something about, uh, I'm, I'm your guy or, or looking for me or something along that order. And uh, they were very easily able to uh, contain him. Now, everyone is just shaking their heads when it comes to trying to figure out what could possibly be the motive here. We hope to learn more tomorrow morning when Matthew Hayden is arraigned here at the Justice Center. In downtown Cincinnati, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cammie? Such a bizarre story, Rich. Thank you. And it does not appear that Matthew Hayden has any prior criminal history. Coleraine Township Police also tell us that they are not aware of the Hayden home as a trouble spot.